I, I talked about bright hustling, a term I uh, invented to talk about the above ground hustling, the effort of legitimate and legal work to represent an, an ethic of go get them, of pursuing the horizon of opportunity, of making sure that you maximize your gifts and talents uh, in a legitimate economy, no matter what you have to do in order to reap economic benefit and emolument, right? To get paid in a serious fashion. So that's bright hustling, using the tools of pursuit in legitimate fashion to realize economic and social ambition. Uh, blight hustling is that kind of hustling that goes on in the streets, the underground economy where people are selling drugs, fencing stolen goods, uh, boosting cars and the like uh, to make a living. Often their backs are against the wall. Economic immiseration is their condition. Uh, the characteristic moment of their lives is trying to get paid for the next day, making certain that money is coming in and that one is able to maximize one's talent in the cutthroat world of underground capitalism. That's blight hustling. So I talked about how Jay began as a blight hustler uh, selling drugs on the streets, uh, on those street corners, uh, the long arm of the law, as he refers to, uh, being kept at bay with crack in his hand uh, as a drug dealer in the underground economy and making certain that his family was fed and that his ability to move forward in the world was facilitated by his illicit activity. Then I talk about his blight hustling, uh, transferring and transforming into bright hustling, his above ground work making rap music, uh, making rap albums, making rap records, uh, owning a clothing uh, business, and then eventually, you know, his own rock nation where he's doing, you know, sports management and, you know, film production and the like. So Jay-Z is the ultimate bright hustler, using your mind, your brilliant insight, your cognitive abilities to facilitate your maximizing your talents for the purposes of realizing not only economic remuneration, not just making money, but also making an impact on the world. So I use blight hustling and bright hustling to talk about the activities, mostly of uh, poor black and struggling black, uh, you know, folk, uh, poor folk in the so-called urban inner city, as well as those who have become upwardly mobile and extraordinarily rich as Jay-Z has.